our first live in three months. We're back. All right, hello and welcome to the Match Day Vlogs YouTube channel. As always, please remember to smash that like button and hit subscribe because it really does, really does make a difference to the channel. We're here live this evening on all platforms. I'm over here to my left side on a little behind the, behind the scene screen on the TikTok channel. But if anyone wants to hear what Jack has to say, then you have to jump onto YouTube. So I, I couldn't quite figure out how to do that. Anyway. Enough of the technicalities. Uh, we're here this evening to talk about tomorrow's game. It feels like an absolute age since we've played a game of football. Um, we have got Middlesbrough coming down to St Mary's, hoping to overturn the uh, previous result, which was a 2-1 loss up at... Uh, is it the Riverside Stadium? I can't remember. Who knows? Uh, but we have Borough up next. We'll also be having a look back at those games which feel like they were an absolute lifetime ago. Uh, the Sunderland game at home um, because of course we will be doing back to, hopefully going for back to back wins at St Mary's. And do you know what else happened today? What else happened today this time all those years ago was that Johnston Paint Trophy win um, a glorious day out at Wembley. And who knows will we be having a day out at Wembley at the end of the season? Um, or will we be heading to automatics? It's all to play for with 10 games to go. Let us know where you're watching the show from. Uh, nothing too specific. That would be weird. Um, Jack. Oh, yeah. How are you? Look, we're, we're back live. We're yes. back live. Look at us. It was getting to a point where I thought, ah, are we, gonna, we might not do one to the end of the season now. <laughs> <laughs> Especially with the running. With the running that we've got. I it's feel ridiculous. Like it's ridiculous. And I, yeah. it's, I'm like, probably with this one or season review, really. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah, mate, it's nice to be back. It's, you know, I've got the big light on. I've got a green screen. It feels like old times. I've got, I've got a spare beer along with the one I've already opened. How else nice. you get to do this break? I forgot to get a drink. That's what I... Ah, oh, it's terrible. Terrible, isn't it? I've also just noticed I'm wearing a slightly green shirt, which might be playing on the fact that I'm using a green screen. But That's... um, but there we go. It's, it's, been, a, it's been a few there months, mate. It's fine. It's fine. It's, you know... Yeah, it, we, yeah. We, we, we get through, through these things together as a team. We always do. Yes, yes indeed. Um, evening to everyone in the chat section. Evening to everyone in the chat session over on TikTok as well. Like I said, if you want to get involved in the conversation... And here, Jack on the other side, then jump on the YouTube. Um, otherwise, you can stare at that side of my face, which is looking a bit weird the more and more I think about it. Um, evening to everyone over here. Um, how's everyone feeling confidence-wise? Are we still dreaming of automatics? Or are we written off and riding into the playoff position? So how, how are you feeling about it, Jack? With 10 games to go. I think we're still going to win the league. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Back on brand. <laughs> in early, mate. Get one in early. That's how you win these games. No, I'm, I'm, I, I really, really don't want to go to Wembley. You don't. <laughs> nah. You don't. I fancy a trip to Wembley. Um, I just, I just see it in the cards. Like a, you know, I, the family's already talking about like the mini bus now. We'll hire a, you know, we'll get a van or a coach or something. We'll take a crew down. Mm. I'm like, oh yeah, that spells disaster in every, in every, every. <laughs> If if we're if we're at Wembley, I think I'm probably going to book some hotel rooms. That's all I'm saying. Um, yeah. it's just make a holiday of the whole thing and just hope it ends in joy. That's all we got to pray for. That's all we yeah. got to pray for. Now, I I, I I I keep thinking is is the the, the semi finals is it home and away first? Like it's, yep. it's not like an FA Cup where you have to do semi finals at Wembley. So it's not two trips to Wembley. Away goals don't count. Did they ever? Not for us. No. Seems like a long time no. ago. But yeah, it's. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, it's scary. I, I just I, I do fear the playoffs. I, I still I still think we can do automatics, and I think it's on us. I think if we can, look, we've got to play all three of them. Yeah, go beat all three of them, and I, that's 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 all I can say really. Yeah, I I that's that's the goal. It is good. Cool. I, I think I think the thing that I'm looking at is like I look at the games that Leeds have got left, and you know there there are some clubs that fight for, fight for their lives. And, you know, strange things can happen in football and they can, you know, a team can come and nick a goal and then and then sit back, which is arguably what, what Sunderland probably should have done when they went 2-2 two, two, 
at St Mary's I should have sat back rather than getting caught caught out twice um but but yeah I, I look at like Leeds game against Coventry and they've got to play Hull as well mm. and Hull's a tricky tricky opposition if if Hull are pretty lively and get a couple of goals then that could be a tricky one for them but it's kind of weird Russell Martin said today that it's kind of feels nice that we've been written off what do you make of that I do. I kind of think it takes a. There's a bit. There's a. I think all season we've had a bit of a no one's looking at Saints kind of run, and and it's mm. it's kept going and going. And now that we're ten games away from the end of the season, I am like, yeah, a few people are still kind of sleeping on us. And I think it is because we have sat in that fourth place spot quite a lot, and you know, yeah. the second year. I think those in the club, I think we know that that we can do it, mm-hmm. but you know, it's it's there is a lot of competition. Yeah. I think yeah. that, I do honestly think the run of games is there for us to do this, and we all know Russell Martin's teams. You know they they do run at the end of the season, rather, you know, rather than walk. So, yeah. confident in that sense, it's just more for me is that can we keep everybody fit with so many games? Yeah, absolutely. If, if Flynn goes down again, mm. nobody let Flynn cook. Nobody let Flynn cook. Uh, there's a comment here from Nick. He's saying uh, we have to win at least eight. I kind of feel we have to win at least nine. Yeah, I mean, I, I said on the little preview thing on on you know, we we have to win all ten, but it's going to feel like that. It's going to feel like that. But it's kind of strange when whenever we've looked at the table, whoever's in the top two, everyone's kind of gone like, yeah, it'll stay like that. Yeah, it'll stay like that. And do you remember way way back in October November, and everyone thought, well, it's playoffs for Leeds and, and Southampton because Ipswich and Leicester are a million miles away. Yeah, and, and here we are. I mean, I. I... I tomorrow is going to be a lot of fun because mm-hmm. of the, the the games go in perfect order, don't they? I think is it Leicester play first. Um, I'll check. I'll definitely. I've, I've, from from, from what from what I remember, it's Leicester play first, then us, then Ipswich, and then Leeds. All twelve, three, five, half five, eight o'clock. So in reality, tomorrow we should be able to jump on the games and watch them all. But is it is it, Le- it is Leicester that starts first, right? Leicester starting first away at Bristol City. That could be quite a tricky game for them. That's what I mean. I think Bristol, you know, it could be a slip up. You never, you never back the early kick off. Even if they get a draw, that's not good for them because yeah. people, people could be gaining on to today. I mean, yeah. Obviously, I think for where we are, I'd rather, um, you know, you would get you know Ipswich or Leeds drop points, but any of them to drop points is good, for, good really. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's it's tomorrow is going to be a quite ex- it should. It should be an exciting day. I just hope to God that we got the easy three o'clock kickoff against, you know, hope it's all, all eyes are on the other teams, you know. All eyes are on the other teams, indeed. I mean, it's, I mean, I'm, what was it the game we watched at, at St. Mary's before the last game? It was Cardiff and Ipswich and Cardiff yeah. turn it around and literally like in stoppage time, absolutely mad. That's Absolutely. what I mean. I feel, I feel like every time that me and you have gotten to St Mary's a bit early and been able to watch the game beforehand, it's kind of gone our way. Mm. It was it, it was it was it was Ipswich before that, wasn't it? That Ipswich game, it and is. then the last time we were there, was it not? Did, did Leeds not lose? Uh, yes. Leeds or Leicester dropped dropped points last time we were there. Leicester, I think it was. That's it. Points. The early kickoff was Leicester, so yeah. you know yeah. that's. That if if you're going by pure luck and chance, that that you've got we've got that going for us. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. No, there is that. So I got some questions jumping in from um, TikTok over here. I say, are we going to Cardiff away? We're not, sadly. Um, I'm also not doing a Blackburn away. Um, it's because unfortunately, um, things are going well, but it's not going well enough for us to do this full time just yet. One day. One day. One day I'll be able to afford a razor again. <laughs> Uh, was it how was out the way? I was I was in Avoriaz and Morzine, and it was very nice, very nice. It seemed very strange that that yesterday I was snowboarding. Blows my mind that I went to a garden centre in Fordham Bridge on Sunday. <laughs> Just in case anyone wonders why we haven't been doing lies, uh, two two reasons really. Um, the the games in the championship come thick and fast, and we just don't know where to put the previews. Um, also, Jack's a, uh, a world famous rock star and has been on tour. Um, I was a bit ropey in in yeah. my, my my health. I'm okay. I'm absolutely fine. Um, and uh, yeah, and I've been away a, a bit, 
So and uh, with work and pleasure. So it's kind of like a perfect storm of ah, which is why for anyone that does any fan content, especially Southampton content, I have the utmost respect for um, because it is very time consuming. Uh, but we do absolutely love it and uh, enjoy having a chat with everyone. I mean, the, the, be- the easiest way to put it is that when we were busting out these lives regular, it was lockdown and I was single. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier to do that kind of thing then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. It was, uh, we, we had a lot more time than I had, didn't we, when we, when yeah, we could leave the house. Weird, weird that. Who it turns out like if you get a live football, football has to take a back seat sometimes. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And uh, yeah, shout out to the big football outlook, um, football Martin, um, Total Saints podcast. Uh, I could just go on and on and on. Uh, SSC vlogs, all the things. So credit. There's so many good ones now, right? It feels yeah. like I I love the Saints content right now. There's so much stuff out there. It's just, it's nice that when I go on Saints TikTok, it's not just your face. Because <laughs> yeah. I'll be honest, I love it. It's nice, but it did bother me after a while. Somebody else have an opinion. I know what I know. What it is is it's, it's mine, but not as brash. It is indeed. Yeah. Oh, there was a, a extra news that that jumped in today. Um, because I did ch- I, I checked him in the club earlier. So is there any any hot news off the press? And uh, we now have a, a memorable moment sponsor. Moon pig. It's on the back of the shorts. Yeah. I like that. It's a fun. fun yeah. Sport. Who doesn't like who doesn't like Moon Pig? They've 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 come in clutch many a times for me. It's, it's hard I to... just so I just you... want to know: Can we get that printed on the back of the shorts? Because that wasn't really made that clear, was it? Can do we? You want, do you want that on the back of the shorts? Do I want shorts at the end of the season when they're like eight quid? I don't know what I would if they put pockets in them. <laughs> Listen, we're not players. We don't. We we could go with pockets like it's summertime. Like, I want to wear Saint shorts, but I want pockets. Yeah, yeah. Club shop, yeah. put pockets in them. They used to have pockets. Indeed, indeed. We could have the, uh, the Ocean Teal shorts. Yeah, that'd be a fun one for holiday. Full kit. It happens to oh, Is that what we do? If we get to Wembley, you go full kit. And we say that, but that only counts for the FA Cup and League Cup, doesn't it? I believe that's where it went. Okay. I'm happy I mean, with that. I don't think we should put that, because there's a... It's a high probability. Put it this way: if we happen. did that, you like you, it would be, the level of bet that would have to be is that you would have to wear a four Diallo kit with his name on the back because he did score <laughs> three goals in that game. Like, do you know what I mean? It's like if you're not doing that, then we're not wearing. We're not wearing four kit Wembley. Didn't score three goals. Did he put the ball in the back of the net three times that all counted towards? One of them was his own goal, anyway. That's no, it saying. wasn't. No, it, it was... was two goals, and then he scored in the penalty shootout. <laughs> there we go. Right, so. <laughs> Just in case anyone's wondering as well, there is a link to join live in the squad members section. So if you want to jump on the stream live, it's over in the squad members area. And I think that will go live in the next five minutes or so. So if you want to jump on and have your conversation with us, there it is. Um, And thank you so much, as always, to all the um, loyal members. We really do appreciate the support. It helps us keep the lights on, which is fantastic. Uh, Right. Let's have a look at our opposition. Now, we were chatting briefly off air about Barra, and it's a bit of a mystery, really, because they had a pretty good march, um, beating Norwich, beating Birmingham, as we did. Um, who, can't beat Nor- who can't beat Birmingham? Yeah, yeah. Well, we, we nearly didn't against 10 men. Um, so I'm kind of not sure quite what to make of Middlesbrough, because um, they're on quite a good bit of form at the moment aren't they yeah they, yeah it was I think in March what was it I think they, I think it was like one loss and one draw and the rest were all pretty good but that loss the, lo- the loss weirdly enough came against I think it was Stoke I was like surprising mm-hmm. because I don't think Stoke are that great I think Stoke are pretty, no. pretty pretty rancid right now so it's I think it's that championship thing of like you know any team can you know if you're a top 10 team you can have a pretty good season but those slips yep. are still in there yeah. And yeah, I am kind of hoping that you know they're probably just out of reach of playoffs. Oh, okay. You know, they're te- yeah. I think they're tenth, the tenth, and I've just out of uh-huh. reach. So you know, and they're safe away from going down. So you never know. They might the, the, the sales might be up, the towels might be on the uh, on the benches. It's time to chill out for the summer, boys. Just let the Saints get some points. They're not that far away from playoffs. 
I mean, they're... What is it? Okay, all right. Yeah, seven points. Of course, that would have been trying, isn't it? Wow, you did a proper dad looking at the phone <laughs> maths then. It was like... I get further away. Yeah. It goes in focus if I move away from it. I want, to call, you, I want to call you Adrian all of a sudden then. <laughs> Vlog dad. Vlog dad. <laughs> um, that holiday you're going on, pal, you won't be pretty much like him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Posting pictures of my dinner. Um, yeah, but, but that run for the race of the playoffs is... Um, Gonna have like Borough, Preston, Coventry, Hull, all gunning for it. Which is why it's gonna make it super interesting, isn't it? That's what that's the, that's my big problem. That's what scares me about it is that all season, all like you know, all we've had to do is concentrate on Leicester, Leeds, Ipswich. That's mm-hmm. what we've been concentrating on. You go to the yeah. playoffs and suddenly you're like, right, hold on, Hull, what are we doing now? Like that, we can slip. Yeah. That can be a slip. That could like, yeah. Suddenly, teams like those are all games. That I'm like, oh, we can get, we can slip in. But I, I honestly think we could beat the, the three above us. Yes, I think. Yeah. Well, I think we, I think we can. Yeah, I, that's just something about me. I just think of those teams below, like, I don't, like, I just feel like there's, that's the slip. That's yeah, all yeah. season just for Hull to go up in a playoff final. Just, I think Leeds are definitely better than they were back when we played them. Oh yeah, um, they're, they're they're a lot better than they are, and oh, the fact that it's the last game of the season at Ellen Road, that yeah. could there's a good chance that that game really could be for second place. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's all over the place, absolutely all over the place. But you know, Ipswich, everyone's been saying that they've been super lucky, but do you know what? You win games, you win games. And um, that's what they've been doing. Oh, God damn, have they been lucky? When you watch some of them back, you're like, "This is mental." What's going on? Like, yeah, the amount of like, I know obviously we've had a lot of like late winners, but Ipswich just take the mick. That, that ball just seems to just be sucked into the net sometimes. Yeah, I mean, especially their games at home. I mean, the amount of games I've seen at, at Portman Road and think like, they're going to win this. They're two one down, and they're just momentum behind them. They're going to win it. Um. So yeah, God, mesmerized staring at this table, all over the place. I try not to look at it. Yeah, it changes. I every... really, I, I've sort of gone through this season from like I, I love the games. I love really love going to the games this season. It's been so much fun, mm-hmm. and I think that means I don't have to go on line as much. I don't have to look at the table or I don't have to stare at it because I just I enjoy going to the games. Mm-hmm. I don't get my dopamine by agreeing with the other fans how terrible we are. Like that's what the only thing that kept you going last season was like, right, at least we can all complain together. We can all be <laughs> this yeah. season. I don't have to really look at Twitter. I don't really have to mm. look at people not dis- disagree with everything. I can kind of just enjoy the games. <laughs> just yeah, good stuff. Yeah, but it's all yeah. coming to an end now because the season's coming coming hard. And there's no avoiding it. <laughs> no, no. It's going to come thing fast. I mean, I don't know what to make of the congestion that we we somehow created from the, you know Le- Leicester being in the in progressing in the FA Cup. Uh, that fire for the the Preston game um, has, has left us with goodness knows how many games for. What was it seven or eight? Seven. Seven. I think it's seven. Seven in April, which is a lot. And it is a game every three games, it's three mental. days. It's going to yeah. be absolutely ridiculous. And I, and I also after what happened last time, I don't really like having a game in hand. We've got two games in hand. That's we? what I mean. I just don't like. It's all right now, but when it comes to actually playing those games, you're like, right, this is the bit. This is what we've been waiting for. The entire time, you're like, well, it's we might be two points behind, but we've got two games in hand, and it comes to that mm. game, and we, and we and we mess up, which is what what happened last time, you know? Yeah, yeah. So it's just, oh, it just feels. It was hard. It was hard work. Please lose. Evening, guys. Hope you're both well. Hey, my man. Hello, Chris. How are we doing? You're right. We we hope you lose too. So, you know, it's all good. <laughs> and we hope you're well as well. Um, deduction. Yeah. What it that's all kicked off as well. What what where are we at with that? Is that something that's I I haven't really followed that closely because points deductions are just like finger in the wind thing for all I can see with the, everything that's going on with Everton last, and Forest. And yeah, last now. time I checked things, I think I feel I think it was if Leicester go up the Premier League will appoint they will 
drop them points because it's, it's only league. if they go up it will be applied then that's what i believe which is kind of outrageous but then the, the, also we the, the season that, that season we went down i think having another couple of more teams sort of been snagged with some more point deduction stuff more ffp oh, okay. so you know it's just um everyone's cheating <laughs> everyone's cheating apart from us and leeds apparently is that fair I mean, Leeds cheat on the pitch, dirty Leeds. That's just that's what they're known for. But yeah. not Southampton. Yeah. We're, we're pretty much perfect this season. Yeah. There we Morally. Go, Chris. Chris saying nothing this season, guys. Why? Is that fair? Just like you're winning nothing this season. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's not keen on the trip to Wembley. It would be amazing uh, if all four teams went to the final game level on points. Wow. <sighs> that would be crazy. I'm not sure that's possible, but it would be Sick. crazy. Uh, right. We talked a little bit about Borough. Uh, what else do you want to know? Well, you know, yeah. um, Michael Carrick. Yeah. Only narrowly missed out on, on promotion last last season as well. That was that. It was all Diallo on it. That, 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 that is what alone will do, do for you. Yeah, it is true. Very, very true. Right. Shall we move on to our predicted preferred... 11. Just go for it. Let's we, get in there. We, we can do that. Uh, we'll, we'll keep the format of the show going as, as closely as I possibly can because it has been a while since I've done one of these. Um, but we'll be doing predicted 11. Then we'll be going on to score predictions. Um, and uh, we'll be going through all of your score predictions as soon as me and Jack have given us. And we can hopefully have some audaciously massive numbers, certainly from the man to my right, uh, which normally goes that way. Right. Now's the time for us to. Select our preferred 11 as I'm talking slowly as I find the graphics it's to make it work. Been a it's been a minute. Yeah, it's all about the radio stuff. Uh, right, here we are. We're going to pick our preferred 11 for tomorrow. Can it be anyone other than Bazunu and Gal? I'll just put that in there because that's, that's a given, isn't it? Uh, let us know your um, preferred 11 in the chat section as well, and we will be reviewing those as well. So, what we're looking at is Bednarek fit? I heard he went off, but it's up in the balance. Yeah, I, 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 uh, anybody who looks, I didn't actually, I didn't realize there was, um, didn't even think about there being a, a, a press presser today. Um, I keep seeing, I've seen a few things in the comment section about maybe Brooks being ill, but Benny Benarat being okay. Oh wow, okay. Um, so yeah, probably should have revised for this show at least one of us. <laughs> <laughs> but at least we, at least we know Bazuna will be in goal. Bazuna will be in goal. Well, I'm going to go with our preferred 11. Um, and how about Bellis, uh, surely? Yeah, that's that, that guy. Yanni B. I think uh, Kyle Walker Peters is back as well, isn't he? Yeah. So that's good. Pop, a, pop me a Ryan Manning in there as well, because I like old Ryan nowadays. He's all right. Yeah, that's a good shout. I mean, we're, I, I, I'm not going to put him up there, but uh, how, about, uh, how about Ross Stewart being back on the grass? It's great to see. It's great to see. I, I saw lots of. Um, uh, <laughs> can't even spell an abbreviated version of the name now. It's, it's getting ridiculous now. Right, can we make that bigger? There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ooh, wow, look at you. Is that better? Yeah. I think that, and I think that that middle three picks itself as well nowadays. Go on, then. Flynn, Will, Stu. I think looking back in that Sunderland game, the moment Will Smallburn came off, as the minute all changed, he was you know he was having a wicked game. Yeah, and he's just he's finding his stride. I knew he would. I I'm, I'm so happy that that Smallbone's doing what he's doing. I can't even type. What's wrong with me? It's difficult, man. It's difficult. Stewie, 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 Stewie. I'm trying to add him. Add him, add him. You don't think he's going to try and shoot all the uh, Jack Stevens in, do you? What as a as a false six? Yeah. No. No. I don't Although, think, so. or, I don't think we do, need to. Or do you think that will be a substitution he starts making in the game now, where he would start bringing Flynn Downs off and putting Jack Stevens into number yeah. six to finish off games to get yeah. the captain in? I think he might be right. I think he might be right. Yeah. It, it, Rest of mine does seem to like. Um, oh, I hello, think, Brain. Come in, Jack. 
I think he's like, if it was, you know, Russell said it, it's, it's even that he knows it's more for the character. It's for mm. the, you know, it's for the, the persona that he brings on the pitch. Yeah. It's it difficult trying to shoot him in. But also, like, he was playing that so high against Sunderland. He was pretty much, he was running forward with the pack and not really coming back. He was pretty much that number six. So why we've not just been putting him there? Why yeah. Flynn's been absent? I don't know. Yeah, it's true. It's true. But, but he's also got a quite heavy touch, I find. And he passes the ball. And you, you know when you see some of our players, they pass the ball in a way that can be easily received. He just seems mm. to be hitting it wrong. Is that fair? I think he's always too... I think because he wants to progress it, I always think he might be just a bit too high. So whenever he does pa- pass along the line, he's always passing backwards and into... You yeah, know, along the the goal face. Whereas he plays a bit bit more forward. It's he's got that he, he's got the ease to pass back if he wants to because he he'd have a player behind him. Yeah, and you know he could be a bit more aggressive because he does have a he does have a decent a decent forward ball and and he, and he does like the charge forward very well. So you know I'm I don't mind seeing jacket number six, but I feel like yeah yeah I, 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 Shay Charles is the one I'm feeling is a bit, bit mismanaged this season. I don't really know where he's where, 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 what I don't even know where in that three he needs to be playing. Hmm. <laughs> But but also like when we've needed a number six, he sort of hasn't been played as a number six. Yeah, it feels a bit bit odd. Um, uh, Josh going with the Carl Walker Peters left back and Bree right back. I mean, Bree had a great cameo when he came on against. Yeah. He really, I think he really sorted that back line out. I mean, I don't I don't hate that. And the great thing about Carl Walker Peters is the fact that yeah, he can he can do left or right. I just kind of think Kyle Walker Peters back from an injury to put him straight back <laughs> put him back out on the left. It's like, nah, play right. You've had, you've had a bit of time off. Let's get you back running again and on the right side. And then, yeah, it, you know, as as the season goes on, I'm not we're going to be there's going to be a lot of rotation. So Bree's going to get his his minutes. That's not yeah. a yeah. But back from the break, let's make sure we get these three points. Yeah, indeed. Um, so what are we think of front three? I mean, I kind of uh, if I jump the gun and put Adam Armstrong. Nah, in mate, it, it, it's it's Adama Shea and and David Brooks. And Brooks is called to play. Yeah, I'm I think you. I think Shea's hold up play with those to have those two guys, but Burton has been really, really great. Mm-hmm. Brooks has been electric on the wing. Just a, it sounds crazy because I know he scored, but I think if his finishing could just be that touch. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it, it's that really annoying thing. Is like, what was the what's the absolute banger goal against the other week? Um, was it Birmingham? What game was it where he scored that absolute what, peach? Yeah, yeah, Birmingham. It was Birmingham. Yeah, you have that perfect right it, behind it. Love that I, goal. But then against Sunderland, you had those two really timid shots coming in from the same position. They were straight mm-hmm. the goalkeeper. Very, it was like I kicked the ball. Really, it was <laughs> every time I get ball, it bounces once before it hits the goalkeeper, sort of thing. So, yeah, it's. It, but if, if Brooks not, then you've got Sully. Yeah, you've got Sully. You've got is it Dozy Frazier. Back Dozy. Is a Dozy back? That's a good point, actually. Yeah, Dozy, Dozy made. Some, did he not make an appearance at the last game? Yeah, I think he did. I still have a memory of seeing a Doji before before the break. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's been like ago. a month since we played competitively or played any games of football, so I I, I don't know how to. Um... As we were coming on to the show, I was thinking I can't remember the last game, and it was. And then luckily you said Sunderland. I was like, oh yeah, I remember that. I don't, I don't know what happened there. We were there, 9th of March, twenty days ago, pretty much. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Adozi was on the bench. Don't think he came on though. No, he didn't. I refuse to believe it. But that, that the, what the nice thing is is that live yawn. We have a really good, we have a really good super bench right now because Rothwell off the bench is elite. He's the <laughs> best. He might be the best finisher at the club. Let's be fair. Those two, those two goals against Sunderland. Any other player in our team that hits a defender. Mm-hmm. Last, if he was in our team last season, it hits a defender as well. But he, he, it's insane. So to be able to bring him on is great. I think having Fraze off the bench again. I know it's a bit unlucky for him to lose his spot, but yeah, he'll if he comes off the bench, he'll probably finish the season on on on, on double figures. Like he'd be, he'd be electric. Yeah, like I say, rotation. So you know we're still going to be playing. No, we're still going to be starting. Mm-hmm. I think so. I think so. All right, we're locking that in. Lock it in. We're locking in. There we go. Uh, I was going to have a quick look through some of these. Um, we saw Nick's lineup earlier. Pazunio, Carl Pierce, Howard Bellis, Bednarek, Manning, Down, Smallbone, Stewie, Brooks, Armour, 
of Fraser. So Fraser instead of Shay Adams. Um, <laughs> give me round pegs in round holes, please. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see what else we got. Yeah. Ryan's, uh, yeah, pretty much done the same. Jack Stevens. Jack Stevens, you want you want Jack over Taylor yeah, Harwood Bellis? Yeah. I don't think so. Harwood Bellis has been away with international duty. I really should have got a drink. Oh, this guy here, this guy, like, <laughs> we're trying to come back. It's been the first one in how long? We're trying to get some electricity. Yep. And you're still... fresh off the plane. I was still in Geneva Airport at 9 p.m. last night. This, this is, you're a cha- you, used, you used to be one of the people, man. This is why yeah. this is this is what this is what happens. Imagine if a, a tough Northern club were watching this; they could be the worst. <laughs> yes, yeah, they would. Isn't it weird how we're, we're, we're just all so nice to each other? I was going to be going on a lead show tonight as well, and everyone's just like, "Oh, sorry, I can't make. It. I have a great show. Yeah, you have a great show too. Yeah, yeah, yeah." It's like, yep. Well, the football's changed, everyone. We're all chatting. <laughs> um, so there we go. That is. Our oh, predicted eleven. Uh, uh, we, we, it's all up in the air, though. So we, we, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Right. Should we move on to our score prediction section of the show? Um, I'm going I'm to ask two sections to put in the score prediction um, because I can put this chat section in the score prediction, and I can put that chat section in the section chat section in the discussion. Um, but first of all, we're going to go to ourselves to see what we think the score is going to be. And um, I'm going to let you go first, Jack. It's not as, it's not as satisfying as the can, is it? Opening the bottle. <laughs> um, I'm going to go for a big, massive 4-1 Southampton. Whoa. Okay. I don't know why. like it. I don't know I like why. It. I was thinking 3 right. 0, and I thought, no, nah, I fancy scoring four, but I understand we may concede one. Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, what am I going to go for? I have no idea with this game, if I'm honest. I do not know where to shoot it, but I think, in all honesty, looking at the sort of games that the opposition have been playing, could be quite lively. Going to be gunning for the playoffs themselves. So they're going to come at us, which makes it more exciting. Um, nothing worse than a, a team that shuts up shop and hopes for a point. Um, not going to go quite as spicy as you, Jack, but I'm going to go 3-1. I mean, pretty much. Might as well just go 4. Yeah, this three, three. I'll go, I'm going 3-1. <laughs> but we both think we're going to concede, which is interesting. I think it, after an international break, I don't, I don't, I would expect a little bit of rust. Yeah. Yeah. I could see him. I could honestly see like a Middlesbrough early goal just for us to just completely run over the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. The important thing for me is that we score first. I really hate the fact that when we don't score first, and it's ten times harder. Uh, right, I'm going to be going through all of the scores in the score section, score prediction uh, chat sections. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. Right, I'm going to do uh, YouTube first. I'm going to do TikTok second. Right, here we go. Where am I starting? Come on, look at all these. Where are you? Yeah, um, are Act accordingly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mark Richards, member of the channel. Thank you so much for the support. It's going for a 2-1 Saint, slightly closer affair, and the opposite to what the score was when we played them at the Riverside. Uh, Sanga Talit's also going for a 2-1 um uh, ryan's going for a 2-1 josh is going for a 3-0 saints he's going for a clean sheet like that uh armor brooks and super seku seku off the bench i love that i think i will i think another super sub seku Mara off the bench yeah i think he's got nice. another i think he's got another five or six goals in him this season about let's, that? hope so. let's hope so uh this one i was going for uh, three one with Downs, Arebo, and Frazier. Yeah, surely sticking your uh, goal scorers in there here as well. Um, again, matching my prediction there. Thinks we're going to concede. Stewart is going all out four nil. Love that. He's read the brand book of match day vlogs. Good boy. On point. Good lad. Um, Singer to he's going for. Oh, he's he predicted your score three nil. Yeah, the three goal difference. So got him there. 
Uh, Nick's going for a 3-1. Adam Armstrong with a brace. Smallbone and Bednarek to score a Virginie-style own goal. I've not seen that one. I'll look it up. Uh, Daniel's going for... <laughs> Sorry, go on. We're not fans of football. We don't know what that reference means. <laughs> it's the international break. We haven't watched a single thing. I really um, haven't. I don't know about you. Not I watched the Brazil game. got very bored and very like, why? Ridiculous. Um, Stuart Roberts going for... Uh, actually, is he giving the score prediction high and I've just not read off the... They're just giving me the goals. Oh, 6-3. It's there. It's there. Uh, Rebo, Armstrong, Mara and Fraser all to score an exciting 6-3 win. Yes, please. Wow. Okay. Liking that. Um, Alpha's going for a 3-1 Saints uh, armour shape. So you conceding a long race strike as per usual. <laughs> He's not been that bad. He's not been that bad. You're struggling today, um, mate. You've got hiccups, yawns, and everything. I, am, I, I really do with some water. I don't have anything, but um, it's fine. And, and I cook tonight, so there's lots of salt in it. <laughs> um, Ryan's gone for a 2 0. Charlie, um, oh no, was he predicting my score? Maybe. Uh, Charlie's gone for a 4 0. Can't wait to smash Ipswich. Liking it. Chloe is going for a 5 0 Southampton. Wow. Adam Armstrong for two. Shea, Smallbone, and Stu Armstrong. Now, here's the here's a problem. Good luck, Charm. Chloe will not be a baller system for the rest of the season. She put in a comment earlier on. So I did not see that. It's going to be the reserves for the rest of the season. It's going to be the academy. So, um, do what. They've, they've been such a good luck, Charm. Chloe's been an absolute. You know, I've, some, there's some some major assists in there from Chloe this season. Absolutely, absolutely. so holding you know, play as well. We, we really it. have we been a collective twelve man have the um, ball assistance this season. So good yep. season, good season. Yeah, fair play, Chloe. Um, had to slum it with the rest of us now. Did, did did something happen? Did 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 it get spotted that she was holding up the ball and not giving it back to the opposition? I don't know. I'm just speculating here. Um, anyway, we hope to see you back soon. Uh, da, da, da. Red and White's going for a 2 1 last minute winner. Aiden's going for a 3 1 Saints. Uh, Delga 86 going for 4 1. With you there, Jack. Yeah, then that. Um, Armour hat trick and Fraser. I'd love to see a hat trick. Have we seen a hat trick yet? No, I honestly, I really thought Joe Ruffler was going to get it. I thought he was going to yeah. get it because I'm there, but I don't think. I think. Is the last hat trick still Mano? Is that still the last? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Um, right, uh, Aiden would love to see Seku score on a night with it. Seku, Ali, Ali, Ali. Comes from Bordeaux, scores goals, you know. Seku, Ali, Ali. Oh, here we go. Virginia scored the stupendous own goal. Yes, of course. He smashed it, didn't it? And it like curled into the side of the net. Loved it. <laughs> I promise you, I am fully sober. Um, uh, coming back next season. Good to hear. Good to hear. Uh, hello to you, Andy. Welcome back. Um, we're sorry we've been away for so long. We won't leave it as long this time. Don't worry. It's not going to be one per quarter live. It's not our plan. So we'll be back. Um, Hugh, nice try. Nice try. I know I'm tired. I'm not going to read off these ones like that. Hugh is going for a 4 0 Saints. There we go. Yeah. I am at that level where I'm so tired I could actually read something by mistake. That's that's not an invitation, by the way. Um, that own goal in the nation. Oh, yeah, was another one. Um, still going for an 8-0 win. Like it. Uh, and he's putting his score prediction. Uh, where were we when uh, um, 4-1 Brooks, Armour, Stu, and Manning? There we go. 4-1, he's with you. He's with you, Jack. Nice. Right, I'm going to quickly go over to TikTok, see what we got. I honestly thought you said you were going to go and have a little drink then. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you, uh, you take your little TikTok and go get a drink, and I'll sit here with the with the regular viewers. And... I might do that, actually. I might I might run and get it because I'm, you, I'm not you, gonna make it much more. You go and take TikTok Let's and go get yourself a drink, and give I'll sit here and entertain the fans. You do that. This guy here, absolutely no progression. He wants us. To, he wants us to go big time. He thinks he's the next Goldbridge, and he's doing stuff like this. It can't. It can't be happening. It really can't be happening. But uh, Elianusi scored. That yeah, but I mean, last Patrick at St Mary's wasn't you? You put was away, right? Because I mean, I think we'd be talking about that game a lot more if it was at home. A lot more, a lot more people would have seen it, really. 
That does seem like ages ago, though. Well, who was who was the manager for that game? Was that was that Ralph or was that Nathan? Who was that? Seems like a long time. Seems like a long time ago. And Hugh, you would I, I appreciate I appreciate it. I mean, uh, yeah, he he is tired enough for us to trick him like this tonight. You just got to be smarter than that one. Got to be smarter than that. Uh, what we got? So, <laughs> listen, Michael. Listen, Michael. Listen to you. If, if you ask Mike to do something, you, nine times out of ten, he's going to do it for you. He's too nice. If you see him at a game, just ask for a bit. It will probably just get you up. He's been. Guys, he's just got back from the slopes. Low key, before the show, he told me he had a three hundred pound bottle of wine while he's away. He's too, he, he look after you. You see him, but you see me get me a Twix because I am poor as hell. I need it. I need that love. I mean, that's it. It was big wrong. Ah, uh, yeah, it was. And here he is. Here he is, the guy. And TikTok got none of that. TikTok got none of it. TikTok got none of that. Did I do the scores yet on TikTok? Yeah. I've got myself a, a pint of water. Classy. And your favourite chat, a Tory lemonade. A Tory, a Tory Fanta. Lovely stuff. Yeah, Tory Fanta. Limon. Limon. Can't smell lemon. <laughs> I've got some of um, so I've got some of Amsterdam's me. finest, but the um, the liquid the liquid one, not the other oh, one. Oh, look at that! On a school night, well, it's not a school night actually, is it? Because everyone's exactly. the after me. Although you know, it is nice being a part in a, in a stage of adulthood where half terms and you know um, bank holidays are, <laughs> are back in life again. You wait to have kids, and then you you just know them as the times where you spend loads of money on holidays. Hey, why would I do something stupid like that? <laughs> It's been a while. I, it's been a while. If, I, if I did that, mate, I'd also have to buy a season ticket and a half. <laughs> Take but out I, a full row. But I appreciate the leg space. Oh, so good. It's a stupid amount of sugar in there, so. Doesn't go so get done by the sugar police. Uh, anyway, where were we? Um, I did the score predictions on TikTok, wasn't score I? Score on TikTok. Right, here we go. Uh, Taylor White's going for a 2 0. He's going for a clean sheet. Um, Mighty Red's going for a 4 0. Um, no, sorry, a 3 1. Uh, Millsborough are going to do the double on you tomorrow, like we did Leicester. It's TikTok. They're not going to hear us. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> yeah you, you, everyone doesn't say what you want. Um, what else we got? <laughs> this, is, this is our stream, guys, over here on YouTube. Don't. What he's doing over there, if that matters. Cannot matter. wait. Getting the northern stand. He's going for 3 0. Uh, Reese is going for 4 0. Uh, 2 1 from up the borough. No, nah, not happening. See, um, fans over there. You wouldn't get that over here. It's not on YouTube. Good, the good folk. Jod 1096 going for a 3 1. Jod 96 uh, literally nothing on Dow Girl. <laughs> How many points from our next five? Millsborough, Ipswich, Blackburn, and Coventry, and Watford. That's a good question, isn't it? Um, out of the next five? Fifteen. I was going to say twelve or fifteen. It has to be. has to be. Uh, Adam's Army is going for a 2-0. Azaz is going for a 3-1. God, they're going fast, there. Um... Can't wait for the South Coast Derby next season. Lewis, um, with the greatest respect, I'm hoping that doesn't happen. With the greatest respect, Portsmouth will still bottle it. No, they can't. They surely can't. Leicester can't bottle it either, mate, but they're about to. That'd be absolutely nuts. Imagine if we do finish this season with somehow Saints winning the league and Portsmouth mm. missing the promotion. <laughs> That would be pretty wild. Uh, YV's coming in late here. 2 1, shaky start, but strong finish. Nice. There we go. There we go. So that is our score prediction. Uh, and now we're into the fun part of the show where we get to talk about whatever we want. So if there's any particular topics that you want to have a chat about, Jack, any, any, anything? What are we thinking about? I mean, we are get slowly getting to the point of the season where it is like. Thinking a bit about the future. 
Yeah. Thinking a little bit about it. And I've decided, um, you know, if if we if they if the scum if the skates do get promoted, and we okay. do stay there, and it is what we think, South Coast Derby. Yeah. What are you going to do to survive at Fratton Park <laughs> with a GoPro? <laughs> That'd be fine. You think so? Yep. Yep. I don't know. Absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. It'll be so amicable that it's <laughs> all changed. We'll, we'll be all having a laugh and a joke. Sort I've of. seen them throw their own supporters out for having cameras. They think it's witchcraft over there. They, just, <laughs> they, think, they think you take a picture and that your soul's in the camera. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure the the guy who does the, 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 that one, the, the other part of Hampshire for for that we do not speak of um the poppy lot um it's got a bigger microphone than me I think it's it, it, ironically I think the channel's called four nil written all over it I think something like that which is hilarious because of what what happened what I think happened? that's yeah that's I didn't know having a Waterloo had, ch- had a channel so that's good to know <laughs> Oh dear! So get your questions um, in the chat section. Uh, any final thoughts on here? I think there's, um, you know, whether you think players going to leave. We're talking about Flynn Downs. Uh, will he stay if we don't go up? All sort of stuff like that. Um, Adams after Wolves in the summer. I think Adams will most definitely be on his way. Should we not get promoted? Um, I think, do, I think he'll, he'll be, be on his thing. way. He should be on his way even if we get promotion. We should just thank him, mm. thank him for getting us promotion. That you did, you've done your job. That's go to Wolves, go and have a fun time, and we're spending yep. a bit of cash on a striker that's going to get us goals. Yeah, yeah. And of course, we've got the likes of Ross Stewart coming back in. I mean, with him back on grass today, what, what do you think that actually means? Are we looking at he's going to come in? In I think April. The, I think the amount of games we've got left. I think he might he might make an appearance. Okay. Um, I put a tweet out earlier on saying what are the chances he gets more goal contributions than Sulemana by the end of the season? Yeah. Yeah. And I think there's uh, I think there's an actual strong chance that he comes on for a game uh-huh. and and does just that. Yeah. I think that first hat trick that we have St Mary since Mane might come from Ross Stewart, and I think that might come in a playoff semi final. Yeah, because we we saw him come as a, like a super stud, a super super sub. He's um, a super sub, though. <laughs> yeah. um, and and then that he, he got injured in training, wasn't it? And then we we didn't see anything. Um, so yeah, I think considering the amount of games we have got to play, uh, I would like perhaps in the next four or five games, maybe he comes on in the second half where we're we're comfortable um and you know gets gets a few minutes under his belt and uh and see how it goes really but i this, can't imagine they're going to want to rush him back they wouldn't rush him back but ideally if it, was, if it was up to me if we got to the point of the season where we're scoring goals it's all going well and especially if he make, comes on make some some subs i feel he sort of make that transition from you know i, I would love this end of the season to start the end of the season to have ross start at a game for mara to come on and, and replace him rather than shay yeah, Just, you know, I feel like those those two will be here next year. Mm-hmm. Um, I just it, it's really annoying that we can't. Last season we couldn't have an end of the season where he's like, well, you play the youngsters, you know, to because to, to, to get them playing because you're fighting relegation, you can't do it. And now this season it's getting to the end, and even though we're on mm-hmm. seventy plus points, you should be laughing the, the league away. We're like, for God's sake, we've got to really play every game, so we can't just. Mm-hmm. play what's here next season we can't just test yeah. out what's what's going on we can't just have a relaxing end we can't just go on the beach what i wouldn't give mike to be able to be at the be on the beach by now <laughs> i remember having a conversation um with dan who uh, went to with the the coventry game and um he was saying he was looking forward to the Leeds game at the end of the season it'd be really nice if it was done by then and we could just have a nice relaxing weekend and just enjoy it. I'm thinking like, that was pie in the sky really, wasn't it? But we were all slightly thinking it in, in a weird way. But... I would really like to not have to go to Leeds. <laughs> <laughs> I agree with that. I would like to not have to do that away day, but I'm just like, well, I'm going to have to do it, aren't I? I'm going to have... Because it's... Is that... that is the, is that is that what that's been moved to 12? 
they've all been moved to 12. Stupid, stupid, yeah. stupid, stupid. Like, literally, could be the designer. Why not put it as a five o'clock game? Do you know yeah. what I mean? Why not play it late? Like, God's sake. What would be worse, though, is if it's it's done as in we're like, we're definitely in the playoffs. And yeah, got that's what I mean. Leads definitely and, in the playoffs. And potentially go and. No, sorry. Definitely. Play it. Play at their party. Right, I yeah, I want it. I want it to be. Or, or, I want it to be. Or, we've done. All, we're in automatics by Leeds. So I just don't. I just don't want those playoffs. Yeah. No. No. Definitely not. I mean, if you want to, if you want to be that kind of guy about it, I mean, season's done. We are in the playoffs, so you can take your foot off the gas if you wanted to and rest players for the playoffs. Mm. Yeah. I mean, going into the playoffs, it's it's a case of the teams that are in form do well. So it's a case that we we can't let it roll off. Yeah. That would be the trick of it. Uh, great question here from Delga86. Uh, which of the other three is most likely to bottle it? You need two to bottle it, though. That's the thing. We do, yeah. Um, um, uh, I would... I, I sound silly, but I kind of think Leicester. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would say the same. I think Leicester. I think Leicester. They kind of are already, in a yeah. weird way. The fact they had such a lead and now it's where yeah. it is. Yeah, Leicester and... Ipswich, I would say. I would, that would be in, insane if it was like we're all thinking it's going to be that Leicester, that Leeds game going to decide second place. But mm-hmm. in reality, it ends up being the Leicester game and we can beat Leicester away. And it's just mm. Leeds the Saints go up automatic. That would be in, in, insane. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, mean, I just be... still can't believe one of these four teams isn't going up. Or two, you know, do you know what I mean? One of these four teams isn't going up. And on top of that, it could even be that two of these teams don't go up. Yeah. Yeah, oh, don't say that. Don't That's that. literally a possibility. That's why the players are so like so aggravating. Like the fact that they're there because they literally, it could be that we get Ipswich in the semis. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? And like, it's just stupid. Like, it's just stupid. Yeah, that would be rough. That would be rough. I can't see okay. it happening though. Would it? Would it happen? Well, anything's possible. Ten games to go. Just looking at where they are. Because we are, even with two games in hand, uh, seven points ahead of West, West Brom in fifth. So I'd hope fourth is at least. Yeah. You know, just considering how not erratic a lot of those clubs beneath us are, but, you know, lots of games sort of go, go one way or another. Um, but the, the, at the top is absolutely relentless. I mean, just looking at the... The fact you've got Ipswich, you've only lost five games all season. Um, it's insane. And, and Leicester with their twenty-six wins, and they've only played thirty-seven games. Just this is madness. But yeah, it's tight at the top. It's tight at the top. But which of the three most likely? But I've got another question here. This kind of tags onto this one: is which of the top four? And you 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 are right in saying that actually two of these clubs might not go up because might be someone else in the playoffs. But which of them is least set up for the Premier League at the moment and would need the most resources? And now I'm saying it out loud. This us. is a pretty easy question. It's us. us. You reckon us? Yeah. Not Ipswich. I mean... I, I think the fact that Ipswich are here is crazy. For me, Ipswich are a bit like Luton. And the fact like if they go up, it'll be crazy. But I feel like they've got a squad mentality where they might be okay. I don't think like they shouldn't be yeah. where they are. Yeah. Like with that squad, but they are. So mm-hmm. it's just something that's happening there. The management, the, you know, McKenna's right. If they keep gear and they keep the, 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 the players they've got, I don't think it's too, I think it's, it's they're on momentum anyway. Yeah. But I think us, with the system we're playing, and how much faster the Premier League is going to be? It scares that. It really, it does. Like, I, it really scares me. Yeah. Like seeing some of these players, you know, like listen, you can, you can. Manning's been a bit of a scapegoat this season, you know, for a lot of people. But I think he's, I think he's done all, all pretty good, really. Especially, a, but I think he gets smoked in the Prem. Mm-hmm. He gets smoked. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and is that kind? And you know what I? I love Yanni V, and I, I I think that might go for him as well. He, 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 that 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 centre back partnership, you know, I feel there needs to be an, a, another 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 killer in there, and that might be better cop chip when he comes back, maybe. But there's a part of me that thinks that. 
Um, yeah. And that midfield, like I don't, Stu's out of contract, I think, right? Yeah. So I think that might be if he if he do, I, and I don't think or he's got one year. I don't know. Is he is he, one year? I, I think he's I think he's one out of contract. Year, but oh, okay. even if he's even if we give him a new contract, I love again we love Stu, but it's thirty. He'd be thirty yeah. plus, right? Yeah. In the prem, you know, I don't think that I don't think that cuts it. We, we need a, a, a Premier League striker because we won't have Shea. Or mm-hmm. would we, you know, and then would, is Ross Stewart good enough? Is Mara good enough for Prem? I think, yeah. You know, again, a lot, a lot, and a lot of these players we got right now are on loan. Mm. Yeah. Do we get? Do we get Flynn's down next season if he goes up? Yeah. Uh, Stewart's out of contract in the summer. Yeah, it's true. There are lots, so, lots of parameters that could come into effect. Um, Stewart's coming in with a, with a comment I missed earlier. Uh, at least would be part of both teams will already be promoted. That'd be quite fun, wouldn't it? That'd be a lot more fun if we were both like, promoted. Go go in for spot number one. Yeah, I mean, everyone, everyone be like, "Oh, we lost," but actually, we're still promoted. Oh, yeah. group hug. I, I don't know. To to lose the league last to last game of the season, that might be a bit rough. Yeah, but, or if, but if to we're win point, it away, um, to win it away, it'd be, it would be incredible. Yeah. Yeah. I would like maybe one, I would like, it to, like one of us to be settled. Be like, listen, we're both going up. You've already won. We've or we've already won. It's just a good time. Yeah. <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, and you come in here. We need to get promoted, or we'll lose Harwood Bellis. Uh, they say we'll never fall in love with a lone player. I'm sure plenty of us have. Yes, I, a lot of people have been writing off Harwood Bellis. I know a lot. of... Was it this that? That second tier podcast don't seem to rate him at all, but yeah, no, I yeah, I think he's a fantastic player, what a great one to watch. But he's 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 still twi- is it twenty one? Mm-hmm. Like, it's, it's because he doesn't. It's last season at Burnley, he had, he had assists and bits and bobs, but this season he's got we got. I think we've got a better. I think we've got a better, we've got a better squad than Burnley did last season. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, he doesn't need to be doing it. It's the same for Ryan Manning. Ryan Manning's not got the assist that he got last season. No. But, like they're doing different jobs. <laughs> like, no, indeed. Completely different jobs. I just spotted we've got a hundred people in the chat session. What up? Hundred people watching on here. And just and all, uh, if at all hundred you could go go to Spotify and stream uh the band Charm Type, that would really <laughs> do my plays and some you know, get some just, just go listen to Charm Type. Yep. Yeah. Link's not in the bio, but it, well, it, on all your major streaming platforms. It's it, it yeah, charm type. Go check them out. Uh, whilst whilst you're doing things, also smash that like button. It really does, really does, it does. make a difference to the channel. Really does, really does. I'm trying to see how many likes we got on this stream. Don't forget, already. as always, this is sponsored by MatchdayVlogs.com. The good people at MatchdayVlogs.com, where you can. <laughs> Hang on, I'll, I'll get the slide. I'll get the slide. There we go. There we go. Hey. And there is some some other stuff in there, and I've even put in. I think there's a. Have I got the graphic? Have I got the graphic? Can, can I can I just point something out to you right now? There's exactly. a jigsaw puzzle in there as well. We sell it's, jigsaw puzzles. That that previous image needs an update because there is a Tino Livermento shirt in there. And like, is there? Is it? Get it gone. How do I do that? Well, this one. No, the other one. The one with all the t-shirts on it. Oh, Ooh, this yeah. one. Next to the oh, pink okay. one, you scream in. You know he's magic. Livermento. I mean, oh, yeah, there might okay. be a few Newcastle fans that want it. And there's a Prousey one next to it. Mate, no wonder he shouts on Sonny. Is there a Prousey one in there? Yeah, oh, Prousey, Prousey. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, right, eh? Legacy, isn't it? This guy. Legacy. <laughs> Still get people to buy the t shirts and Franny Benali shirts. Just saying. Just saying. Um,. Not uh, to point to people to other merch shops, but the Total Saints podcast they have a fantastic Franny Benali shirt. It's like the it's the pony logo, and it says Franny, and it was famous. Oh, right? That's pretty cool. I might have to go get one of those. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, that's nice. That is nice. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Go live here. Oh, go live. Here. It's, right, there's 24 likes on this. We need to. We need to pump that. We've got 106 people. Come on, 106 people watching. Can you Everyone just give it- hit that like oh, button? Um, it's free. That's all I'm saying. It's free. Um, what's making noise? 
I thought I had the X Files thing for a second. I don't know what's going on. On it. <laughs> it's next door. Watch him film. Good thing. Good thing it's just a film they're watching. Anyway, I what's the oldest, they're not watching this. What's the oldest Saint shirt, shirt, shirt you got, Mike? It's the oldest, oldest one you got. <sighs> this is a bit of a sore subject for me, um, and it's the 1991 kit, and I don't know where it is. Somewhere. Somewhere. Somewhere in there. It's got a picture of me wearing it. It wouldn't fit me now. That's the thing. What, what's the deal? Because I've got like my old kits from a kid. Like I think, I think the oldest one I've probably got is either I think it's ninety eight or might be ninety maybe ninety six, ninety eight. Because it's it's longer years, isn't it? It's two seasons instead of one. Yeah. But the oldest one I can wear, um, probably technically, but the two thousand one. But I do have like a few retro ones, but they don't count, right? Surely they have to be actually old rather than. Yeah, that's old. Yeah, it's nice to have them, but yeah. Okay, so I guess the actual oldest kit I have is 2016 Under you get, get yourself on retro retro kits mate get yourself on eBay get yourself some bargains on on eBay the other day right mate it was 250 pound it was a 1994 Salisbury away shirt and I was like I really want that it was class yeah it was a really nice shirt what it was, color was it was it... it was yellow and blue hmm okay and I was like this and it was from somebody in Poland had it I was like how does somebody in Poland have a 1994 Salisbury away shirt? The year I was born. That's pretty cool. From my hometown. But I was like, I was like 250. Come on, you're joking. <laughs> uh, let us know in the chat section, what is your oldest Saints kit? I've, I've got, uh, let me see, let me see. Uh, Zenit Data System Final Blue Shirt. Wow. Nice. Respect. Nice. And he's got um, 2001 with Pahas on the back. <sighs> Nice, nice. If you could have one though, if you could, if you could own an OG, what would you, what would you go for? Dimplex Latiz kit. Dimplex Latiz kit. That that Dimplex. What do we need to do? Who do we have to beg for them to remake a Dimplex? For somebody to make a Dimplex kit. Yeah, that's a good point. How do we do it? How do who do, and or is there a graphic designer out there that can make us a match day vlogs Dimplex shirt? Can I somehow get the the font of the pony logo yeah should do that, like MDV. you could do it if it's yeah. it's there it needs to be done yeah even if somebody could throw me a dh gate link i'm all for it just some i want that shirt just somebody give it to me <laughs> um <laughs> i don't think so sure you should yep i got a lot like that uh, red and white 2002 shirt white army uh, white away kit friends oh, provident yeah. Nice. I've got That's my one from when I was a, a child. It's a medium. Yeah. It, it, I mean, I could put it on, but you would throw up. Signed by, signed by BT as well, is it? Don't know how to push the buttons here. What's going on here? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. It's all gone wrong. Don't worry, I can push oh. buttons. Oh, there we go. Thank you, mate. Um... <laughs> oh, there we go. We're back in the game. We're back in the game. Uh, Dimblet shirt is the most underrated in football. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. 2010 kit. Cameron loved that one. Oh, Brett Omera one. I can still wear my Brett Omera shirt. It's been lucky this season. Get Brett Omera is one of those players, right? And I think we can all agree. In my mind, he bagged absolute goals for Southampton. But if you actually see what his stats are, they're terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it, I don't. I don't think it's more than 20 goals. Oh, okay. Um, Chloe, I got 1976 when we won the FA Cup shirt. Wow. What an actual original one. Nice. That's pretty cool. Should be in the frame, I hope. Um, Brett, Brett Olmrod scored 13 goals in 98 games for Southampton. Doesn't that seem ridiculous? Doesn't it feel like he played a lot more and he scored a lot more? <laughs> I'm pretty sure Bazunu scored more than 14 goals already, hasn't he? Ridiculous, man. Just feel that way. There we go. Well, I'm exhausted, if yeah. I'm honest. I'm absolutely shattered. So um, uh, I, I think uh, we've we've exhausted all the topics. Oh, what's going on here? What's going on here? Mike, just all over this TikTok. It's, it's YouTube. Um, That's our bread and butter. This is where we live. 
There we go. I'm back. I'm back. Um, yes. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining us here live. Uh, if you are watching on replay, please be sure to uh, put in your thoughts in the comment section because we, we do still keep the discussion going. Uh, me and Jack will be at the game tomorrow. I'm assuming. I haven't actually asked you yet, Jack. Are you at the game tomorrow? Yeah, I'll, I'll be at the game tomorrow. Cool. Cool. That's good. I mean, it's been 20 games since, since we've done that. So, uh, so yeah, we should, uh, should definitely do that. I'm actually um, going to bring my season ticket this time. Good plan. Good plan. Uh, what time are you getting down there? Because we watched the, the game before, couldn't we? I've been told by Sarah that we'll probably leave here about half 12, 1 o'clock. Okay. All right. So, so depending on the how off. Off. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty mm. much. It's a sellout, isn't it? I don't know. I don't work at the box office. I think it is. Sell out St. Mary's. Everyone's got a day off and they're loving it. Um, so, yeah, me and Jack will be down there. Um, so, you fancy coming over? Say hello, have a chat, get on the vlog. Uh, we could do all those things. Um, but hopefully, we'll be back for another uh, preview again soon. Um, but with the games coming thick and fast, we have a game coming up on Monday, which we haven't even talked about. Which, looking at the schedule, we might not even get a chance to talk about. Um, but will be a massive game, uh, a season defining game, um, as it'll be a must win. Um, so, it's all to play for with the 10 games to go. Um, but we'll certainly. Be here for the ride and uh, go through either the jubilation or the counting sessions afterwards. It's just what we do here. That's what we'll be doing. Excellent. Look out for yourself, guys. We'll do. We'll do. <laughs> so, as always, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and we will see you in the next one or tomorrow at St. Mary's. <laughs>